All right, so today we are going to talk about card base API of industry CPQ. Recently, this has been shifted from a velocity uh, documentation to Salesforce documentation. So we are going to explore all the card base API and to start with, we are going to work on create card API, which is used for creating an opportunity or an order or code. Uh, from your external client application using this API. We can use integration procedure as well and how this uh, remote action can be called. We will be exploring those uh, input parameters. So Apex remote service name will be CPQ app handler. These are the different input methods provided by the Salesforce. I have created this is a request JSON for us. Uh, method name will be create card. Object type will be order, which I am creating right now. We can have uh, opportunity or code depending on our requirement. The input field will be from the entity of ob entity object. So if it is order, then the order field should be there. Effective data states and name. And this is the uh, account ID so we have to provide I have I have taken as an input parameter because of uh, we are providing account ID from another step in the integration procedure so this is the variable account ID under which we wanted to create this order that will be same applicable for opportunity as well the last one is fields these fields uh, will be output uh, from the remote method call or your call of the API so I'll move on to application right now there is only up to last number of orders 115 I'll go to my application this is the integration of procedure which I have created I'm using remote action previously that I am just setting account ID using set value and I'm using uh, remote action as a component remote class name will be CPQ app handler remote method name will be create card either there are several ways either we can just uh, give the input as a method name create card order create order and these are the fields I'm taking as an output and response will be the create card output of, which I'm going to display um, you can go and check as an edit as a JSON what you can do you can directly put this input request in your additional input directly uh, from here to directly there you can put it account ID is this time taking from my previous step you can directly keep your account ID in spite of this and then I will run it this is my integration visual runs if you see the order number is 116 I'll go back here refresh it 116 order number has been created for the account demo card API 